Here we go. So we are going to check out a recycler view and we're going to be happy about it. So let's run the thing and just sort of see. So it says recycler view up here. Okay. That's cool. And if, uh, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, some rock and roll history, uh, these are all the, um, studio albums done by the Grateful Dead. And so it's a list and it's got a little picture, uh, a happy or sad picture in the name of the album. And that's it. Um, this thing keeps popping up. I'll explain what that is later, but it's, it's not really doing anything. The, the one thing that this uh, piece of code can do, oh, you know, you click the garbage can, everything goes away and you pull down and it comes back. I guess the other thing you can do is this. Uh, tells you what item you selected, what index you selected. So this is, you know, zero, uh, the Grateful Dead. And this is one, even though it's now the zero with element. So this, this index is the index in the entire list, not the index of what's on the screen. That's not number one, that's not, that's number five. And down here without a net, number 21. Okay, so that's, I think those are all the dynamics. Goodbye, come back. All right, so how do we build this? This is a recycler view, and then this thing is a swipe refresh, refresh view. Um, so those are the only two things that's going on here. Um, so let's unpack it. So uh, I, before I even show you the layout, I just wanna show you the repository. And uh, repository, this is, um, a data class. Uh, we haven't seen a data class before, but a data class is a class that doesn't just as data. It doesn't have any methods. And here, uh, there's a string called name and a rating, which is a Boolean. That's it. And they're public. Um, so this is the, the data. And then I do have a class called a repository, uh, all of which is a, really a singleton. And, and, in this case, I, I probably could have made this, uh, uh, you can call this an object and it becomes a singleton, but I didn't do that. So uh, this is a companion object uh, and we've got a list and this list is a list of data objects and each data object is initialized to be a string and a rating and it's whether or not I like the album. And, uh, um, then I've got a uh, fetch data method here, which returns the entire list. So this is sort of, you know, fake in the sense that this is a list that's just sitting in memory. And when I fetch it, I just grab it out of memory. Uh, the way to think about this is um, our repository will look a lot like this, except when we say fetch, it will go over the network or it will go to a database and it will populate an in-memory list. So that's what the repository is. Let's take a look at the layout. Uh, and here we'll just take a picture of the, uh, take a look at a picture of the layout. It just looks like a bunch of items. So this is sort of a list. Uh, there's gonna be a, re a recycler view, but it's nested in a couple of things. First, we have a linear layout. It's a vertical linear layout. Boom, super simple. Seen it a million times at this point. And then there is this uh, swipe refresh layout. And inside of it is a recycler view. And its idea is just recycler view and it's match parent, match parent. And the swipe refresh uh, layout is match parent and wrap content. And again, the swipe refresh layout is just this thing. It's this pull down activity, uh, you know, that I, that I like. Um, and a, a lot of the apps I think have this, uh, the idea is if you want to refresh your contents, you pull it down and that's a swipe refresh layout. So this is a pretty simple um, um, layout, and uh, you might you might wonder, you know, what happened to the uh, to the toolbar. And um, this is a, a advanced topic, uh, but in themes, uh, this theme is a, a dark action bar. So because the theme defines that there's a toolbar, there's a toolbar, uh, even though there's no toolbar in our layout. This is just a linear layout, swipe refresh layout, 
recycler view. That's it. Okay, don't don't worry about that if you, if you didn't follow it. But uh, the thing to follow is uh, we've got a recycler view. It's nested in a swipe refresh layout. That's it. That's all I got in main activity. And then you know we need to talk about rows when we're talking about lists because what is a list but a sequence of rows? And this row is pretty simple. It's a linear layout, and it is horizontal. And it's got this cool background thing. You can read about that here. And it's just got an image, and it's got a text view. Okay, and the, the image is, you know, the row pick, and the text is the row text. Right? This is all a row object, row.xml. And, you know, it's a sort of obvious thing. Uh, let's see, the, the pick, uh, pick is just wrap content, and uh, oh, the text view is also wrap content. What is this? Uh, width is match parent, or we want it to be across the entire row, and the height is just, is just uh, wrap content. So if we had different different heights, uh, you know, different ele different elements in our recycler view could be different heights. They're not. We got a little margin here. We got you know, specifying text color, text size, blah blah blah. You know, you should be getting pretty familiar with these ideas. You want to put some padding, fine. You don't want to put some padding. You want to put some margin. I want to make this some special colors, like you know, let yourself go go wild. Um, this is a, a pretty sad sort of preview, but you know, you can see the image view, you can see the text view next to it. So, preview of coming attractions. Okay, that is the layout. This repository is just a list. So now let's go into main activity and start taking a look at what's really going on. And uh, the first thing, you know, is main activity is an app compatibility, right? No problem. Sorry, just want to see that. Um, okay, but I've got two data items here, one of which is this list model thing, which uh, is weird. First of all, what's a model? Why is it a list model? Uh, model is sort of a fancy word used uh, for data. Your data is often called your model in uh, app programming. And so the list model is sort of, you know, where our list data is residing. And, you know, this is a little bit of a preview of coming attractions because eventually we are going to put a bunch of our data in a view model. And uh, that's going to make, make our lives easier when we get there. But for now, this is a little bit of an arbitrary choice. Let's just crack open this list model because it's super simple, right? It's really just this list. Uh, and, oh, and in fact, uh, you know, let's not make this a late init var, make this uh, val uh, list of, so an empty list, okay? Um, there's no, no reason to make it uh, late init. Um, oh, and then, then yeah, no, it doesn't, doesn't like that, so let's, uh, that. yeah, there we go. Okay, so this list model is just a uh, data list, and you can set it, you can it sets the entire, replaces the entire list. You can get an item from the list and you can find out how many items are on the list. Why exactly these operations, we'll find out in a minute, but this is just to demystify the notion of a list model. It sort of wrappers around a list. And so this, this list is pretty straightforward. We could have kept this list in main activity, but I just want to emphasize that it's its its, its own thing conceptually. So that's our list model. And then we have this new thing, which is the adapter. And the adapter, as we said before, it knows about the list and it knows about our screen and it adapts between the two of them. And so a lot of the action is really gonna happen in the adapter. We'll unpack that in a little bit. Okay, so our list model, so adapter, let's not look at a replace list right now. Let's look at onCreate because we're, we're used to onCreate. Oh, super onCreate, yes, that's good. Binding, uh, you know, I need to set up my my screen, so I need my view binding object. How do I get it? Activity main. I have an activity main.xml. Uh, that's where my linear layout is. And so what am I going to do in onCreate? I'm going to get my uh, view binding object. And you know, there's there's no magic here. This activity main binding comes from this data binding class, which is generated by the compiler because we put view binding yes in our build script or our Gradle file, Oops, sorry, uh, on create, yeah. So uh, that's where activity main binding comes from and we are inflating. And inflating is this expensive operation where we are taking the XML file, turning it into a bunch of views uh, that are contained in this view binding, 
view, view behind object, view binding object. Layout inflator is a global. And then I take the root of this view binding object and I just do set content view. So set content view needs a view. This is a view binding object and the root is the view of, that contains all of the nested views inside this, this uh, view binding object. So, you know, what is a nested view? What does that mean? Activity main contains a linear layout. That's a view. It's a swipe refresh layout. That's a view or cycler view. That's a view. So all those things are, are actually subtypes of view. Okay. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to build a project just to make sure it builds because I don't like that this is in red. Okay, that built, and then I'm going to dismiss this. Okay. Why are you in red? I don't know. I don't know why you're in red. No one does. Okay. Set concept view. Uh, root of the binding object, we're psyched. And then uh, support action bar, uh, that is the app con uh, compat activity bar. It's got, had a lot of names, uh, but action bar, I guess, is the last one. We can set the title of the action bar. Um, and, you know, what the heck, let's set it to recycler view. That way, you know, when we, when we run, this thing comes up and it says recycler view, which, you know, that's sweet. Okay. Now let's get into, you know, how, how do we set up this recycler view? So the first thing we do is we go to our view binding object and we find recycler view, right? You know, binding is this view, you know, binding is, binding is this activity main binding object. And what's in the activity main binding object? All the IDs that we put in there, our swipe container or recycler view. Cool. So let's grab our recycler view. So we have a reference to it. And one of the things we got to do is we got to set this adapter, you know, all this uh, talk about this adapter, we created this object. So let's assign the adapter to our recycler view. And I, I keep talking about uh, uh, layout managers. Well, let's grab a linear layout manager and it requires a context object. We're gonna pass that this, because again, the context object, at this point, you can be thinking of it as sort of your activity object, more or less, that's, that's fine. So linear layout uh, manager, we want to grab that. And then the recycler view has a layout manager property. Let's assign uh, this linear layout manager to our, our layout manager property. Boom. Uh, you know, look at this, we're cooking with gas. This is the one thing I sort of haven't told you about in advance. It's, it's sort of a detail. Um, it, without this, there's no line between the list items. And I really like having this line. It, keeps me from going crazy. And so um, uh, in order to get this line, we, it's a divider item decoration object, and it does need a context object, and the context object needs to come from the recycler view, so it's not it's not just our activity. And it needs to know what orientation to draw the lines, and uh, we can just ask our linear layout manager, what orientation are you? And we create this uh, divider item decoration, and we, we do an add item decoration. So don't, don't worry about this for now. You can just copy this code as is for the time being. It'll probably make more sense as we get more familiar with recycler views. Okay. So far, uh, not, not so bad, right? You know, we grab the recycling, uh, recycler view from the view binding object. We did have to set up the adapter. We don't know how the adapter works. There's a lot of magic there. Um, layout manager, we choose some layout manager. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, I, I want some lines in between my objects. Not so bad. Well, let's actually put some data in uh, our list so that the, the user has something to scroll through. So I'm calling this replace list function, which, which I wrote, or, you know, we'll get to it in a second. Um, but I'm calling repository.fetchData, repository.fetchData. This is our initial data list, which is the static list and fetch data just returns it. So what I'm saying here is grab me this list and uh, for my list model object, I'm just going, oh, well, sorry. I haven't gone that far yet. And I'm just gonna replace this list. Uh, that's gonna be the initial contents of what the user sees. And then I do define this uh, swipe container. Uh, this is a swipe uh, refresh object and the set on refresh listener 
is the function that gets run when you pull down the um, pull down the list. So the first thing we have to do is set uh, is refreshing to false, and that's because what that does. That, see that that that, that that little spinning guy. When we set it to false, it disappears. And if we didn't set it to false, uh, you know, do do do, uh, it uh, it's going to be a bad time. Oh my gosh! Look at this. I'm not set to false. Error. Okay, so we want to do that, and then uh, and then oh look, we're doing the same thing here. We're just replacing this list, and this is why uh, things don't change when you pull this thing down. Um, because it's just replacing this list with an identical copy of the list. It's the same, same data. I'm trying to keep things simple here. Okay. Let's, let's take a look at replace list. So replace list just does two things. The first thing it does, it tells the list model, Hey, replace the contents of this list. Okay. No problem. Yeah. How does that work? Set list. Oh my gosh. We'll just replace the list. No problem. And then the second thing is this thing. Now there's a funny thing in Android. We have our list model, which has all the data items. And whenever anything changes, the runtime has to redraw the screen potentially. But because this happens all the time and because redrawing the screen is expensive, this process is made visible to the programmer so that the programmer can optimize things in the sense that let's say I knew that the user couldn't see object 100 and that the change I was making to my list was adding uh, object 101. In that case, I don't have to tell the adapter anything. The adapter is the thing that controls what is visible on the screen. But if I make a change to my list and it might affect what's available, what's visible on the screen, the safest thing to call is notify dataset changed. Now notify dataset changed is sort of the hammer of uh, UI calls. It says something happened, I don't know what, just redo everything. So it is usually a good place to start when you are debugging to call notify dataset changed because you can get very subtle bugs if you try to be fancier. Once you get your code working with notify data set changed, you can try to replace this with notify item changed, notify item range changed, notify item range inserted. These, uh, you, you can take a look at, at how these are defined, but you know, they're, they're fairly intuitive. Uh, the names are fairly intuitive. The effects are not always as intuitive. So you might find that notify data set change works, but you change, uh, you, um, instead make a call to notify item change and then it doesn't work. And by doesn't work meaning, I mean, you click some item to make some change and you don't see that change uh, on your phone. Notify data set change says, uh, redraw the entire phone uh, real estate no matter what, something might have changed. And so you're definitely going to see it here. So, uh, Pulling down swipe refresh gets us uh, this replace list. The only other sort of interesting option uh, is going on here. And here's the first time we're seeing, or you know, I think it's the first time we're seeing uh, something in the, the menu. So in the layout menu, we have a main menu and uh, we have an, an item with an ID and uh, an icon, which is the drawable uh, folder and I, I have uh, some uh, video on, on how to get uh, icons into your drawable folder. Um, and once you define that in main activity, you can override on options item selected and you will find out about selections to menu items. And when the menu item is ID clear, what we replace the list with is an empty list. And that's why click that, that's our empty list. That's our swipe refresh listener. And this is our awesome list. Okay. So hopefully you look at that and you say, not bad, not bad. I'm getting the, this recycler view 
uh, I've got the I've got the recycler view. It's got a list, and it's got an adapter, and I'm good. And this this part hopefully is not so bad. Uh, let's go to the view adapter next, but this is getting a little long, so I'm gonna cut. Uh, I'm gonna stop this here.